Hey there, true believers. Ray and Kisaragi here with a brand new Let's Play. A super secret special Let's Play that you guys, a lot of you guys have wanted. And, well, I'm here to give it to you because I enjoy the game as well. Um, this is, um, a game for the PS2, obviously. A game that I have, I'm not going to say a limited experience playing, but I haven't beaten it yet. Um, it's not quite Disgaea 1. But I hope I get a fr get some at least some of that some of those cool points. Well, we we can hope at least. And once it gets started, sing along if you know the words. If you don't, I'll I'll give them to you, hopefully. Yes, everyone, welcome to Let's Play Persona 4. Um, I recently got a hold of this, and by recently, I mean uh, uh, back in May, <clears throat> from my best friend in real life, uh, 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 Lemus. So if you want to thank him, you, uh, yeah, I hear he's accept accepting offerings of virgins, unborn children, and internal organs. Uh, his name is Draconis, and no, no more, no, stop it! <laughs> Talking too much. It's not happy with me talking about stuff. No, no more, no more tutorial. I don't want to spoil anything. Intro video, whatever. So, yes, Persona 4. Um, and the best way to start a new LP is to start a new game. Yes, we need to choose a a, a, a difficulty. <clears throat> And that was when I'm gonna get called a noob, because I'm gonna go with beginner. And there's before you flip off the LP, there's a reason for this. Enemies in this game, from the second dungeon onward, have a have a nonsense level. <clears throat> because in the second dungeon, there's an enemy that casts an instant death spell on your party. If the main character gets hit and dies from it, um, it's game over. You you lose. You have to start from the last save point. You die. That's it done. It's bullcrap. And, granted, the enemy, in, in the enemy in the second dungeon has a low chance of doing it, but the, an enemy in the, in the fifth dungeon, in the third dungeon, excuse me, has a uh, medium chance to kill you inst instantaneously. I walked into the dungeon, went to the third floor, still at full health, still at full SP, which is your magic in this game. If you got into a fight, they they got the first attack, even though I had the initiative. I don't know how that works. And he cast death on my main character and killed me. Um, so to avoid having to do like hours of re of re recording things, I'm gonna put it on beginner because that gives us ten chances to revive the party and the main character with full health and SP. Yes, I'll feel bad about using it. Yes, I'll consider it cheating, but. It'll help the LP move a little smoother. So that's my reason behind choosing beginner. If there's enough complaints after this first session, I will start a brand new game and uh, go back up to right to where I was on normal. But I'm sticking with beginner for right now because 
it provides nonsense insurance. <laughs> but, um, I'm also going to try and get the perfect ending. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Um, I'm not going to be able to max out all the social links because I don't have that kind of patience, to, to, be, to be fully honest with you. <laughs> that, that's the biggest thing that comes down to. I don't have the patience to follow a schedule that pinpoint precise. <clears throat> um, there are guides about how to do it, so if you have this game, I'll probably include a, one of the walkthroughs in the description so you can follow exactly what you have to do at every given moment to max out every relationship. But I will not be. Because um, I'll be playing the game the way that I enjoy to play it, which is the way that I play it. Might not be the best way. This is probably going to infuriate a lot of Persona fans by who are, who are watching this LP um, because I'm crap, basically. But anyway, I've talked long enough about this nonsense. Yeah, let's experience gamers. Yeah, that's the um, nonsense insurance that I brought up. Yeah, it won't change anything with the story, though. Yep, we're gonna start. Well, the game tells me to sit back and enjoy it. That's a first. Never seen that before in a game, I don't think. The Velvet Room. Thank you, Satan. He's he he he, is, he isn't Satan. He's just creepy like Satan. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> Am I dead? No, you're in a tutorial. Can I just be dead instead? No. No. Oh. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Hello, Igor. I am unnamed protagonist. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. Hey, I didn't sign up for anything. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. I'm not signing anything you give me. Your nose is way too long for lying. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? One well, sneeze. Okay, sneeze gone. We get to insert our name, last name first. So, we are going to put in. I'm gonna spell my own name here for a second. It just fits! Wow, look at that. Looks like I made that name to fit this game. Yep, we are Kisaragi Rain. <laughs> Even though we'll be known as Rain, the, or Rain Kisaragi, the whole name. It's not actually. Hmm, I see. Your name has letters in it. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? I don't want to. Future scares me. Do you believe in fortune telling? Well, kinda, I guess. Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. Except when it isn't, and it's the same. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? 
That's a fair point. I will, I will give you that one, Igor. Mm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Oh, great. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon in the upright position. Meaning everyone will sleep for 40 days and 40 nights. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. Clearly, I need to read about my tarot cards. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. What if I don't sign anything? Then I won't be under contract with anything. Huh? I've defeated your whole future prediction, haven't I, Igor? I'm not going to sign or join up anything. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. I do not want to be a guest of yours. Your nose is far too long and your head is far too bald. I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. Or, or fully introduce yourself, for that matter. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. I don't want you as a party member. You live in this limo. We shall attend to the details another time. Like why we're in this limo. And with why there's nothing but fog around us. Why there's a fish tank on the side. Until then, farewell. You didn't explain anything to me. Those are glasses, not, not, not a fish tank. I apologize. to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is eating. <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey! What is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect.
also inama.